Welcome back to Dollstar Diecast. Okay, I'm gonna do the Gary's Challenge random cars. Gary's Diecast Challenge random cars. I just pulled out a bunch. And these aren't my favorites. I just picked them randomly. So let's take a look. Okay, up first, look at this one, Poison Pinto. I got this one from, I think, Kelly's. Kelly's Toy Stop. So yeah, that's where I got it. I get a lot of cards from Kelly's. Let's take a closer look at this one. Most of the cars all sh I'm showing are Hot Wheels or Matchbox or something like that. No premium other than Hot Wheels. And this thing is you know, some played with value, for sure. But, uh, it's in my collection. I like the older stuff. And this is a Hong Kong base. 1979 Poison Pinto. That'll be the first one. Up next... Is this one this is not a Hot Wheel or anything it's a Corgi Jr. which Hot Wheel bought I brought believe this is an AMC Pacer and it has some played with value also and I believe I got this at Kelly's too There's a guy that <clears throat> the guy that sells them. The cars there are mostly old vintage played with cars. I mean, the Sweet 16 he's got sitting in the case. You could buy them. They're pretty expensive though, and they all have some played with value. This is the Diora 2, 1999 casting release. Of course, I love anything with surfboards. And then I got this little mini one, too. Kind of the same. And it is a Hot Wheel. I believe. Yep, there's the Hot Wheel logo right there. Oh yeah, and on the boards. That's pretty sweet, and it rolls. That's the Diora 2s. And with all this surf stuff going on, you need some rescue. The surf rescue. Volkswagen Caddy. Pretty sweet. And this is a used car I got. Maybe from Savers, this one. In a bag with a bunch of cars. And then this one I can honestly say is one of my top cars I really like. This is the 1959 Eldorado, and it's a Hot Wheel. There's the motor. Pretty cool. This had a rubber band around it. Right there. 
two-tone interior pretty cool and then the surfboards are pretty sweet but it looks like they're cracked <laughs> they bent them to stick them under the seat or however they're in there but this is the 1959 Eldorado and some detail on the bottom too rubber tires Pretty cool Eldo. I honestly can say that's one of my favorites. Then this is a Woody that I got from the California, I think, specials. This has a container that it goes in. But I have another car in that container. Beatnik Bandit. This one's a 1979 casting release, but that's the day, date it was made, B38, which could be 2009, the 38th week. I think in 2008 they started those letters with A, and they went on from there, skipping I and O. That's the Woody. And I got two of these custom 62 Chevy surf models two different tampos on this one pretty cool these I got out of the package I opened them pretty sweet and there's a variation of this one I believe I have it it's still in the package that is worth a few more bucks than these so there's the 62 custom Chevy with the surfboards and then this one I think is made after the show the man from uncle I think it's missing the engine or something but this is a husky models made in Great Britain plastic tires and my uncle worked for a company called AMT back in the 70s and when that show, The Man From U.N.C.L.E. was on in the 70s, or late 70s, he made that car in, a sh in the shop. He was like my cousin Chip Foose. That's His dad was Sam Foose, my uncle. And this is supposed to be it. My wife found this online and she got it for me. Then we're going to go to this one. This is the Volkswagen Senegan. And the pop top pops up on this one for camping. And you may have seen this one before. It's got the motorcycle on the back. Casting date from Hong Kong. Then I got this matchbox here. Actually, it's a Lesney. It's the Rolls Royce Phantom 5. And I think, does the trunk open? It does. The trunk pops open. right hand drive
And I believe I got this set of bat in a bag from Savers. And it's in good condition for I don't know, it's Lesney's old. Number 44. I guess I could have looked it up, but I'm not a computer guy. Alright, that's the Rolls Royce. From there we'll go to something special. This is another Sabres bag. Lamborghini. It's the Gallardo LP560-4. C29 build date. Which would be... 2010 I believe and the 29th week left hand drive deco in the front pretty sweet then I got another matchbox this is made in England by Lesney it's the steak truck and missing a pillar looks like it got stepped on this was in a bag from savers it's got the old plastic tires and if I knew how to restore these things I would it looks like it says Dodge <clears throat> does it yeah that's pretty cool then I got this one savers these are my favorites I just found a bunch you know sitting around I'm not gonna dig around for a bunch of cars I'll be digging forever but this is the custom Chevy love 1972 2015 casting release this was made J39 so I don't know I could figure it out but that's pretty cool I like the Hot Wheel logo right there and next one will be this one Ready. Toyo tires and this is the 1996 Nissan 180SX Type X 2015 casting release J25 build date and again this is a savers car played with value but it's pretty cool in a good nick and sticking with Nissan or Japanese I got this 01 Acura Integra GSR custom 2015 casting release date and this one's got some played with value Sabres bag again Pretty cool though. And then this one I got in a Sabres bag. The Range Rover. 1989 casting release date on this one. It's pretty cool for being in a bag. It's in good shape. Tri-blade wheels, off-road style, kind of a metal flake paint, black. Not a lot of played with value on this one though. Pretty cool. And the last one for this show again from the savers bag 
found this treasure hunt. Got the opening hood, I believe. Maybe not. Thought it opened. Oh well. But it is a treasure hunt. Rubber tires. 67 Ford Mustang GT. It's got some played with value. Some kid had some fun with this treasure hunt. It's got the 390. Pretty cool for being in a bag. Gotta love it. Okay, that's it for the Gary's Diecast Challenge of Random Cars. And these are my randoms. That's all I got for now. This is Doll Star Diecast. And thank you for watching. Until next time, we're out for now.